Hi there, Aaron from Laser Lamps, and today I'm going to be showing you the wiring on Utility 25 lights. Um, specifically, if you've mounted them up on a roof rack, whether it be an OEM roof rack like this one or an aftermarket roof rack, you're going to want to know where to run your wiring. So, the wiring on this runs along the roof rack and down uh, into the engine bay. I'm just going to quickly show you guys how I've done that, and it will terminate in a switch on the inside of the cabin. So you've got your lamp installed on the roof rack. Next thing you're going to want to do is run your cable. Now, particularly on OEM uh, roof racks, there's no holes or anything for cables. So what I've had to do in this instance is just make my own so that I can put some cable ties around there and neaten up the cable. From then, uh, what you're going to want to do is um, try and bring the cable down in between um, like this part on the vehicle you, you wouldn't want the cable sort of dangling down here um, so it's, it's quite easy to use this part to sort of hide the transition from going to top to bottom once you've done that you can then tuck the cable in between the roof rack itself and the roof rail there's a channel in between the two and you can literally um, poke the cable tuck it all the way in and along until it gets to this point here um, when it gets to this point again you're tucking it the cable all the way in and then you get to the a pillar trim with the A-pillar trim, this is easily removed on the outside of the vehicle. You take this trim off, there's a T30 screw underneath and then the whole thing slides down and pulls away. And then you can, again, hide the cable in there. That then brings you into the bonnet where you can connect up your harness. And then uh, from there, you can run your switch into the vehicle. And we have a switch inside, which we'll show you on screen now. 